All right. What? There we go. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's the intro. <laughs> I am here with Abby Louise, famous Abby Louise for her TT audios as well as her cosplay on Tickety Talk. Thank you for having me around. Hey, hello. <laughs> <laughs> See, I like this one because I didn't really have to travel much to, that's to true, get here. That's true. That's true. It's better than the four-hour train journey for um, Dynamic Works 2012. Mm. Yeah, it wasn't ideal. Anyway, uh, <laughs> how dare people be far away? <laughs> yeah, quite frankly, it's a it's a disgrace. Anyway, so um, as much as you are known for your TT stuff, and it's what you are, I probably guess you're most proud of out yeah. of the two things uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm focusing sure. on the most well, yeah. Quite, yeah. Got, how many projects have you got on the oh, go now God, don't. <laughs> <laughs> well putting that aside I'm sure when I come to the audio stuff I'll be right back pretty much but uh, for now we're talking about the cos the cosplay ah. hence why I'm dressed up as absolutely nothing right he's now he's dressed up as Jack I am and why would you my <laughs> god <laughs> coming soon to my TikTok <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh my god, I that. so want to cosplay you on TikTok now. I'm so doing that. <laughs> There's plenty of reference on it. I'm on so it. doing oh. it. Well, I look forward to it. Hoodie, <laughs> oh, green no. top, Just right. colouring the eyebrows with your thick <laughs> I can as do you that, like. I've got the wig. Well, there, there we go. <laughs> I look forward to it. God damn it. <laughs> no. <sighs> well, anyway, well you now... You asked for that. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Hello, oh, I'm well. Jack Rubes. Well, oh God. <laughs> well. Well. <laughs> well. Yeah, it's oh no, enough. that'd be terrible. That'd be, yeah, good luck with that. Anyway, <laughs> oh, Gemma will give you tips because I was making fun of George Sheard for his pose because in all of his flux reviews he does the same like that and, and she, Gemma comes in saying why are you making fun of him for it you do the same thing and I'm like no I don't what's my face then she just goes and I'm like I don't look like a serial killer all the time how dare you not all the time not all that sometimes it's it's a must it scares people Fair. anyway on to the questions at hand first of all obvious question when did you start cosplaying covid oh really that yeah no, okay, I well, thought it was a while longer well that's a lie um my first cos like, like, Doctor Who cosplay right. was started in the lockdown two years ago, March-ish sort of time. Time's a, a blur. I don't know. At some point <laughs> when we went into lockdown was when I first started doing Doctor Who uh, cosplay. But prior to that, it was all Harley Quinn and oh, yeah, I've seen those um, DC comic-y stuff. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, do you still do stuff like that? I do Harley Quinn. <laughs> Why, why, are you, why would you be laughing at that? Because <laughs> she's like 95% boob. <laughs> <laughs> she's nothing like any of my Doctor Who cosplays. And suddenly you gained 100 followers in a day. <laughs> no, but this is the thing. Like, compared to... Because all the Doctor Who characters are like Jenny and they're all like Victorians or yeah, they're in the 60s. you couldn't show your boobs in that no. if you tried. Or they're, in, or they're like in 60s stuff like Polly and Charlotte Pollard from 1930. So it's not very... Revealing. Revealing. And then there's... Steampunk Harley. <laughs> oh, steampunk very. Yeah, I forgot about that one. So, so yeah. <laughs> well, um, relating to Doctor Who then, who was your first Doctor Who cosplay? Oh, uh, right. Uh, 13. Was it 13? Mm. I, I didn't I'm surprised have a coat. it wasn't Jenny. No, I didn't have a coat. I didn't have a coat. I just just had a one of those t-shirts from, from, from Forbidden Planet. <laughs> Honestly, I've got, I might have the same one. <laughs> it was literally just like a... I'm stuck at home, what can I do? Oh, this thing called TikTok. Okay, I'll have a go. And then I done Thirteenth Doctor. And then my second one was Ace. It took me ages to do Jenny. I don't think I started doing Jenny till Did you do the voice before you did the cosplay? No, the voice was purely a mistake. So we used to do <laughs> So I so first off I, I I came across the video the other day actually when I was like I'm thinking of cosplaying Jenny Flint. What do you guys think? And everybody in the comments is like, yeah, go for it. Why you not? rock it. Do this. I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. But we used to do these things a couple of Christmases ago called 1 a.m. calls. Sounds horrific. <laughs> and uh, so basically, I'd post the TikTok at 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. GMT. And um, I went through all my characters. So I'd done it with Zoe. And then I'd done it with Charlotte. And then I'd done it with Jenny. And I literally walked in with a plate of figs, and I was like, Mum doesn't know I've nicked these from the pantry, but I really like to have figs at Christmas, that it's... sort of thing. And literally, I'd done it, and I was like... <laughs> Did you just hear yourself and went like, What? Because oh. I knew I could do Charlie. Yeah. I knew I could do Charlie. And I was like, oh, OK, I cannot do Zoe. I cannot do Zoe. <laughs> Zoe's voice is very tricky, though, because it's relatively normal. 
Mm. Where, as voices go, like Perry is the most like hilarious voice to do in the world because it's just the most OTT American accent yeah, anyone can do. But then, like, yeah, Sorry, like Zoe. I'm working on my Nissa, but no, I say mm. it just happened with Jenny. I just, and then um, Matt Barrett mm. was like, I'm gonna have a go at Strax. And it turns out he could do Strax as well, <laughs> so it all kind of worked out. So quite if you nice. want to do an impression, just, just, just think have like, a go. just do it really nonchalantly. Do it, then you might surprise yourself. <laughs> To be fair, yeah, no, because the more I think about it, I was exactly the same with all the doctors. Mm. It was mostly just like, oh, I'll have a go. And yeah. like everyone else, you know, I see other people do it. Well, how hard could it be? Well, oh. There we go. <laughs> I can do the one word. Oh, well, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Honestly, that's. Whenever you ask someone to do a 10th Doctor impression, that's the. It's straight in. It's either that or Donna. But you used to have. you like not so much now but when you start doing when you start doing voices you do have that word it gets to you get in the it. voice going well, what's what's jenny's it used to be blimey fair used to be that blimey very... or or everybody's gonna hate me for the sorry mum oh, yeah. so sorry so sorry sorry i think i've been murdered <laughs> You know that one. What a line! What a line! <laughs> you know the deaf Jenny one. You yeah, know. yeah, good, the one where she dies. <laughs> the, the dying Jenny line. Yeah, always, but they, always it depends what good. sort of mood you want to be in. Yeah, I, I, I rewatched that episode recently. I forgot she died really early in it because I remembered she was in it later. And it was just like, I forgot oh, to lock the door. Oh yeah, Jenny dies. You're just sort of watching like, what's gonna, what, what, what are they doing? And they just been murdered. Then fades, and I was like, oh, Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> Then River Song slaps. Anyway, if you haven't seen it, we're just giving you a play Spoilers. by play of Name of the Doctor. <laughs> Should reenact it with like, Alia, it'd be funny. Oh, that would be great. Well, we need to get her a Celine mask somehow and just see how she does. <laughs> or, like, get. Come do here, one of those Alia, filters. while I stick this thing to your face. <laughs> no, it's, it's not super glue, don't worry, don't worry. You'll be fine, Splat. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind. Have you seen them, though, the Silurian masks? No, I, I haven't. I posted one on Twitter a couple of weeks back and tagged Alia, and I was like, Mom. <laughs> Why has your face come off? Those who don't know, Aliri Tori voices Vastra in. Yeah, we're the not TT just threatening someone. In the TT Productions, um, Paternoster Gang stuff. And um, yes, I tagged her, and it literally looked like. You know, Mrs. Doubtfire's face. <laughs> You know when it falls out the window and lands on the floor yeah. and just before the car runs <laughs> it over? That's basically the Silurian That's face in a, mask, in a horrific, box. Horrific, yeah. <laughs> Present mom! What the hell is this? <laughs> my ancestors. I wouldn't mind, but I'm pretty sure Alia commented or said, Sorry, my love, I'm molting. Oh, <laughs> like a snake. Yeah, like a snake. <laughs> oh. oh, Lord, but no. Um, yeah. Uh, so back to cosplays. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Uh, and then um, my ace was my second cosplay. She's and pointing to the jacket, I've, I should have mentioned. Yeah, I've still not finished it. No? Is it's that, three what, is there years so old. Many badges? And there's still about seven or eight badges missing. Most of them are like my, motorcycle ones. She wears mm. a lot of motorcycle badges. Um, but there's one on there that I showed to Sophie. Oh, yeah. And she was like, how did you find that? <laughs> I was like... And you felt pretty proud that day. It was like, oh, it was no biggie, you know. <laughs> you know. Just trawled websites for ten hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's that's probably that's still a work in progress. But I'm not one of these cosplayers. I don't own anything screen accurate because I'm a single mum who works at an audio thing which has no money in it. Yeah. So uh, money is tight. So most things I get are something from a charity shop that I've adjusted like mm. classic Doctor Who wise I I cosplay Nissa of Traken See, that's a very tricky cosplay to well this uh... is the thing because she's quite lucky because because she's classic Who mm. she doesn't have too many costumes she literally she's in that she's in that show for nearly four years and she has three costumes <laughs> must stink well done well done <laughs> um and the cosplay I have is the one she wears for Mordred Undead and Terminus, which are her last two. And it's like a grey jacket, a grey suede jacket with like a grey skirt. Mm. And the jacket's got like a yellow underlining in it. And I found a, I found a suit the right colour and I was just like, I'm just going to buy a t-shirt from... <laughs> I bought a t-shirt from Primark that was like an off-yellow, so yeah. it was the right colour and I just sewed it in. I mean, it works. It does You it can does tell work. who it is. Like, to be fair, the wig does do a lot of oh, heavy I lifting. Love the wig. Yeah. Do you know how many wigs I went through for Nyssa? How? It's, how many? I've literally had about eight or nine different wigs and I'm still not happy. Good Lord. Well, this, is, this is the only thing, because 80s hair... 
80s hair, very high. high and hair. Nissa's, Nissa's hair shrinks the more she gets into the series. Like Nissa of Traken. Mm. It's know, like the first... opposite of Capaldi. Yes, it is the opposite <laughs> of Capaldi. Her first episode, um, Keeper of Traken, which is ten, uh, Fourth Doctor. Mm. Her hair is huge. Mm. She is. She has to compare to Tom Baker. Literally, it's She's massive. Like, oh, you think you're Afro? And then big? by the time Terminus comes and she leaves, it's like. It's gone. Be like, it's like, oh no. <laughs> I'm going to die. <laughs> well, on the lines of how many of those wigs you have, how many characters at this point, let's stick to Doctor Who, oh, right. how many characters do you think have you, you have cosplayed? Right, let's do it by Doctors, because that's okay. probably the easiest way. So, first Doctor, mm. Susan. Susan. And Polly. Paul. Technically. Second Doctor, Zoe. No, not Jamie. Not Jamie, not yet. Not I'm Jamie. sure it'll happen at some point. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie. Get that kill. <laughs> I've been trying to find a kilt. Kilts are expensive. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Get the gun. <laughs> Kilts are expensive. Uh, nobody. None of the third Doctor companions. <gasps> not even Joe. Not even Joe. Not even Joe I was going to do Liz. Gretchen will be mad. I know. She does Joe though. Oh, I've seen her she Joe. Does Joe. Damn impressive. Um, I have. I have been pondering. It's kind of been on the. If I see an outfit that Liz would wear, mm. sort of thing. But she's. Liz. She's. She's. I'm just waiting for the right item of clothing to appear in front of me because yeah. Polly mm. <laughs> oh Wait, what's wrong with Polly God. right so Annika Wills who plays Polly basically mm. wore her wardrobe <laughs> so all the stuff she owns is like 60s chic that like Twiggy would have worn <laughs> and I'm like well I can't afford that and anything yeah. I can like we well, find it and it's like in a size 2 yeah oh good did I mention I'm a mum I don't <laughs> I'm, I'm not, definitely not a size 2 anymore I'd even um, struggle to squeeze in there that's what I mean I'm a skeleton so I found stuff now and I've got two Polly looks now which is enough <laughs> it's more than enough yeah. for a character like Polly <laughs> fourth doctor mm. um, great. we're up to three Leela Leela. See, oh that's a tricky God. one. Good lord. That cosplay. I would never wear that outside. Like, that is only for TikTok, that cosplay. <laughs> yeah, doing that at a convention would be very brave. <laughs> that's only for TikTok. I'd I love the fact it. I've gone from I'm not a size two to I cosplay Leela. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's body confidence, though. True. So, uh, don't worry. It don't matter what you look like. You dress whoever you damn This is want. why I mainly do audio dramas, people. <laughs> You get the cover sometimes. <laughs> if you're lucky. <laughs> if you're lucky, yeah. Um, so we're up to four, I four. think. Four. So, Leela. Mm. Nissa. Nissa. No Sarah Jane? No. She's got a million different looks. I think I think because I've seen Sarah Jane cosplayers on TikTok. That is a, yeah, I suppose that is a popular one when it yeah, comes to Yeah, and classics. I try to, like, fill in the gaps. Oh, oh, you're trying, you're, the, you're playing the underdogs. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to be like, who's not been cosplayed this week? Um... <laughs> Uh, nice, we're up Perry. Pe Perry. Perry, no, that's gone. Oh, I've got rid it? of her. I don't. <gasps> no. Talking about body confidence. There's a lot I of boobage don't. there. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the thing. I've, I've done Perry. <laughs> <laughs> and you do feel a bit, yeah. a bit open to the Especially elements. as I've done, I done the pink look as well with the little shorts. Oh, yeah. Well, you didn't do the one when she coming out of the ocean. <laughs> weren't that brave were I you? do have that bikini though, that's the problem. <laughs> I have, I did do a little bit, but not a lot because. Yeah, yeah, nobody wants to see that. <laughs> uh, six, that's six. So yeah. six. Um, I do audio um, characters as well, which is great mm. because you don't know what they look like. Usually, no, yeah, that helps. You get like a little glimmer on the cover. You get like, oh, she's in a t shirt. Yes! Yeah, basically. <laughs> it's like um, audio wise, six, sixth Doctor, I cosplay Constance Clark. Mm. Yeah. Who is a World War One Wren? So I basically just wear my old Navy uniform. That helped. Oh yeah, I should mention because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know this when I first met you, and it was only when I came around here the first time and I looked at the pictures, like, oh, you were in the Navy. Yeah, ten years. Somebody has to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I just wear my old uniform for that. Helps. Um, helps. Uh, Flip Jackson. Yeah, that's seven. Uh, and I chose that outfit because the, the last audio she did was a Lovecraft one. And it's just a black t-shirt with like a skull hand going like this. So I just found that t-shirt. Nice. So done. Flip Jackson. Uh, seven, Ace. Ace, classic. Got to get a bit of Ace. Wrong with Ace. So that's eight. There's a lot of Ace cosplayers, but she's one of my, she's one of my faves. She is great though, yeah. And Sophie Aldred is a queen. Mm. So, uh... Eighth Doctor, Charlotte Pollard. Charlotte Pollard. That's a, that's a good one. <laughs> there's, not many, there's not many. There's not many. I have cosplayed Grace from the movie. Oh, the TV movie, yeah. But I, 
I bought, bought that the massive shirt. frock from the beginning. No, I bought like the pink top, the pink shirt. Oh, the silky one. But I, I think I'd done about four TikToks and I looked at myself and I went, nah, just, <laughs> I'm not doing this one again. So no, it went, I right. went in the back of the cupboard somewhere. <laughs> um, I think that's nine characters so far. Uh, this is going to be like eight, nine, nobody from nine. No, oh, no Jack. Rooms. Oh, Captain you do Jack, Jack. Yeah, okay, that's uh, ten. Nine. I like that you even did. I think you even did the stubble, didn't you? As well? Oh yeah, I, was, I had the big thick eyebrows. So you had better facial hair than I will ever grow. <laughs> but if you've ever seen me at full, at full facial hair, it's disgraceful. Yeah. I look like I shouldn't be within ten feet of a school. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> that's um, not, that one's not going in the show. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's one for the full interview. Uh-huh. <laughs> um. Uh, so up to ten, tenant now. Tenant. So I think we're up to ten cosplays. That works. Have you done a Rose? You done a? You don't can't really do a Martha. Donna. You done a Donna? No. No. Ooh. Because Jenny. This... You do. A, well, not this Jenny. The other Jenny. Doctor's daughter Jenny. Hey, yeah. there we go. Doctor's daughter Jenny. She's fun. What are you gonna do? Tell my dad. She's fun, because. There's big finishes of her as well. I haven't so, listened to those. So are they, good? they are they are quite good. The second one, mm, but the first, <laughs> the first one's good. Um, Hope big finish ain't listening there. But no, it's nice. We're being critical. <laughs> it's good, but it's not as good as the first one. Um, Georgia Tennant's fun to do, do on TikTok. Cause she's very expressive. Oh, is she? And you basically just get to pull funny faces at the tabber all the time. It's fun. I like, get my blue contacts in and my red, my, my blonde. You even wig. do contacts for her? Oh yeah. Um, oh, wow. Her, her, Connie, um, Leela. And the one I just said. What, Jenny? Jenny, yeah, I blew. I dab, um, you blew and it. I, <laughs> <laughs> and that was not going and in. And, right, so, this is a Trakan, Connie, Flip, um, Doctor's Daughter, mm. I wear blue contacts for. Oh, wow. Right um, because why not? Did you just decide one day, you know what, I could take this a step further? Speaking of eye colour, mm. Molly O'Sullivan from Dark Eyes. Eighth well, doctor. The name there. Um, eighth she's doctor. the one that has the. Dark she has eyes. black eyes, like black, oh, dark, wow. black eyes. So the same high colour as me. Ah, oh, that works. I actually have darker eyes than dark eyes, which is wow. something I will point out. You are out the to true Ruth. dark eyes. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever meet Ruth Baddy, I'd be like, so dark eyes. <laughs> so uh, you were so. Uh, go on, show me your so. eyes. <laughs> um, okay, I've lost count now. I've lost It'll count. Be on Doctor's screen. daughter. Doctor's daughter. Doctor's daughter. I should have written all these down, shouldn't I? <laughs> There, right. there is, there is like um, collages where I've put. Yeah, like, I've seen most a lot of these collages. They're hilarious. Um, Jenny like, Flint. It, Jenny. Oh yeah, we're up to eleven now. Jenny. Pond. You done? Oh, that's a popular one, I suppose. Yeah, you done I've not pond. done pond. Yeah. I've tried wearing the red wig. It doesn't work for me. No, my see, I've got that red wig, and it is huge. <laughs> I've been meaning to trim it because it's so it's heavy. Just like a really it's terrible. Hard. Yeah, but I don't know. How to, uh, the two wigs I have cut for things. I cut my McGann one really down because it used to be a girl's wig down here, but it's now all messy. It's disgusting at the back. You do not want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> you probably will at some point because we must do like an eight and Charlie thing. Oh yeah, definitely. But yeah, it's disgraceful. Anyway, so Jenny Flint, any other Smith, Clara? No, you wouldn't do Clara. Who am I kidding? N- yeah, not a big Clara fan. This one, but neither am I. <laughs> <laughs> the actress uh, Jenna's great. Just the characters. Yeah. Just terrible. Twelve. Can't do Bill. Although she's she's got some style, that Bill. Oh, I'd love I'd love that. You know that like silky blue jacket she has. I'd that is, love that. That is cool. Uh, Missy? No, that doesn't count. Oh, I'd well be up for doing Missy. You just got to get dubbed over by Alia. I was just I will literally just get fan audios and just be like Alia, can you say this? I've got um that you know the Eleventh Doctor's like fuzzy furry variant of his purple jacket. I've got that. I'll just lend it to you for a bit and you can just pretend that's Missy. See, this is this is the whole thing of like. It all being stuff bought from charity shops and adjusted. Because how often am I going to come across a purple yeah. suit? It's it would be a, a cool. It's just one day you walked it like on that. <laughs> oh mannequin. my god, it's going to happen oh. now, isn't it? We're like what? <laughs> that happened. No, that happened to me the other. Um, not the other day. Like last year, I was thinking oh, I'd love to do a brigadier or like a unit cosplay. And I was walking past the British Heart Foundation, just a full on the green like thing, and I was like, well, this is a sign. Well, it's like somebody put some fan art up of the Lumiere. She's like she's like the good side. You know, like the Valiard is the, the Doctor. Mm. It's like the bad side of the Doctor. She's the good side of the of the Master. Ooh. 
and um, somebody put some fan art up of her the other day and I was like I'm, I'm so going to cosplay this and then I walked into a charity shop and saw the jacket and I was like well, guess the, what I'm going to cosplay the Lord has provided <laughs> so coming soon to Abby Louise on TikTok hey. although Lumiette. by the time this episode comes out it might have already it probably happened. already would have gone up yay <laughs> time it we're filming this what mid-March mm. yeah so this will be out at the end of April yeah it's about right it's like doing audios <laughs> yeah honestly this is probably the most ahead of the game I've been with the community show the best way to be though yay organisation yeah <laughs> totally didn't just line up with what we were doing before no no, not at all. <laughs> um, all right, we're up to the to Capaldi. Well, obviously you've done thirteen. Yeah, thirteen, uh, and then I've done like. Um, I mean, you voiced Yaz, but that doesn't count. Yaz. God damn it. Um, Claire, I've done some. I've done Claire from yes, the Flux. Yes, I forgot about Claire. You nailed Claire <laughs> for such a like one-off Flux character. You I've, got it so accurate, so I've quickly. I basically made it my mission because I planned to do. Gwyneth from the Gwyneth. ninth Doctor episode with the Gelf. Oh, the unquiet did. Yes. I say with mild confidence. Um, the Charles Dickensy one. The Charles Dickensy one. The Welsh. Just a Gwen. maid. Well, a scullery maid. You, basically, yeah. <laughs> that's what you've been so doing. Basically, all the time. I'm just going to be a scullery maid, but a different one. Nice. Uh, but, I, but I say I, I want to do Linda with Hawaii from the ninth doctor one where he's in like the big oh house. the one where rose is like yeah competition literally, literally so i want to do all these really obs like to be fair like, Linda with a wide deserved better god damn it <laughs> hence claire claire and yeah. sarah from uh either the daleks either the, the irish oh, one oh yeah ashley not now man not now mammy that mammy. one <laughs> yeah didn't Ashley B retweet that or something? Yes, she did, yeah. Nice. I, cos I cosplayed and I'd done the... Wasn't it like, like a week after Even oh, the Daleks yeah. came out? You were just like, oh, okay, I've got the jet, I've got the card but again. But it was one of those moments again where I was like, I, I'd love, because she was hilarious. Mm. Like, it was brilliant. Oh, imagine if she was a companion. It'd be so funny. I would be surprised if she didn't come back in some way. Literally. I reckon RTD would just want to work with her. Yeah. Um... <laughs> But this is the thing, she is just being Ashling B. Oh, yeah, she's playing herself. She's just that being is the herself. most, like, stunt casting. Yes. Hello, Ashling, come play Ashling. <laughs> Do you reckon that's what the, the audition was? Just like, hello. It was like, oh, you actually came. All right, you're hired. <laughs> I wrote this part as Ashling B. Ashling B, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, I don't know no. how many cosplay that was, but it's on screen now. There you go. Yeah. Um, it's in the tens. No, it was one of those moments with the um, Sarah cosplay where mm. I was like, I'd love to cosplay her. And then I was on Facebook and a Shein advert came up with the really? jumper. And I was like... God's sake. The world works in mysterious ways. Rory! I forgot about my favourite. It's not just Rory, though, is it? It's Rory specifically... Rory in his pants! It's in his pants! From bloody Power of Three! Do you know, as well, yeah. they're up in the loft, so I can't get them down. What a they shame. They are screen-accurate oh, pants. The, the one thing... I have, have... I, have three, I have four things that are actually screen-accurate, mm. and those pants are one of them. <laughs> See, here's the thing, though. I've been told I look a bit like Rory, but I don't think I'd be so bold... I don't want the world to see what Once I'm packing. Once again, I saw a gap in the market on TikTok, and I was like, I'm going to do the in my pants. Now, here's the question, though. Did you stuff? No. No? No. Didn't give yourself a bulge? No, I didn't. No. Well, I don't, that's I, not I, screen like, accurate, well, then, no, is no, it? Well, no, no, no. I had, like, the wig, and I had the, I had, I had the, um, like, the contour on my face and stuff. To yeah, you, you do the makeup really well. Like, not just, like, Ashling B's character, which I think you did quite well, but, like, That's blue Rory, contacts as well. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> Um, but also like Captain Jack and Arthur, and, like Arthur Darwin Arthur and Darwin. Rory, like you, you nail the hair and the and the face as well. It's just like, yeah, no. If I didn't know who you were, I'd probably believe you were a dude. We love and it. that's a, con a compliment. Yeah, it's, where, it's when you're a cosplayer. True. Yeah, that's why I mostly cosplay ten because I get nice compliments. Yeah, that's mainly why I cosplay Jenny because I get to wear a corset all the time. Is that a pro? I like wearing corsets. I'm weird. Why? I don't know. I've worn one and it's not comfortable. Don't. I'm Literally. not revealing any more about that. No, right. So, um, obviously, when I cosplay dudes, I wear a binder. Oh, the squishes it. To squish the squishiness, right. <laughs> and I'd much rather wear a corset than a binder. That, that does sound horrific. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least the corset's squishing what's already in. Exactly. Like, it's just... Plus, I have a thing for, like, Victorian era, so it's quite Do nice. Do you? I hadn't noticed. <laughs> well, I... Like... I've seen her desk. It's mostly Victorian. <laughs> it's just, like, matchstick girls and, like... Mm. Oh. Um, uh, da -da -da -da, what's I saying? What were you saying? 
no, of most most characters <clears throat> I only have one outfit for mm. apart from Jenny do you have multiple Jenny I I've have, only seen this version I have this oh you have the battle version I have what I call the kick ass which is the one she wears in Crimson Horror when she takes her coat off which is a lot of people's favourites uh, it is a fun one to wear I remember oh, leather really? and lace I've done a photo shoot in that one so I was walking oh, around that's London that's the one you did with Vastra and Strat I was walking around London I'm finding that picture because it's great <laughs> um, yeah kick ass this mm. one uh, I've got the I thought you were painting me Oh, you've got that version. I've got the, I've got the cream corset with the um, the shawl. Um, I've got the snowman one, which is the black shirt with the striped skirt. See, and I can just the imagine. Belt. Oh god! See, I can imagine the day you found out you could do the voice. You were like, "Well, I know what I'm getting." But I, say, I, 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 I started cosplaying her before I knew I could do the voice. So Ridiculous. it's kind of just expanded from there. And then obviously I've got the normal, the like um, high neck black ruffled one i'm oh, sure that you could just use that for gwyneth uh i have it slightly different I, ha I have a low a low neck black one that i wear for maid jenny because i have maid jenny as well of you course. know the first catching appearance where she looks like a child she so comes just out. add that to the cosplay cosplay counter just so all I the have, different jennies i have five different jennies that's that's uh, five more than I think anyone else. Which has. is basically the only uh, the only outfit of Catherine's I'm missing mm. is the coat from Crimson Horror, the grey. Oh, the, what, long the one where gray, she takes off to reveal one, kick yeah, ass. Because those coats cost a flipping fortune. They do look quite. Custom, and unless yeah. I find one, which mm. will be a miracle, if anybody finds one and it's not expensive, please send it this me. way. <laughs> because that's the only item I'm missing, <laughs> and. The thought, it's the stupidest thing, the thought of being able to do the TikTok. Oh, what, the reveal? Where she's like, don't worry, Doctor, this one's on me. <laughs> like, <laughs> See, I can, here's the thing, I can imagine you doing that, and I can imagine, oh, who is it? Grace, in her 11, doing that. So we have, we have done that scene, but I wasn't wearing the right... Coat. It wasn't accurate, yeah. so it's null and void. <laughs> it doesn't, <exist. laughs> doesn't count. <laughs> Ignore that TikTok. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, it'll be deleted as soon as you can get it. <laughs> but um, moving on from that, I think uh, with cosplay in general, it's quite different. The answers uh, to this question, which is, what do you get out of it? Because some people, like James Sutton, for example, goes for the screen accuracy and he likes to look exactly like yeah. like the character. But such as yourself, you mainly go for the charity shop option. So. What do, you, what do you get out of it? I do think it's important to point out that you don't have to have loads of money to be able to cosplay. Definitely. Like, if you can do it, and mm. you wish to do it, by all means, but if you can cosplay somebody just by buying a T-shirt, you know, uh, it's like... Like, I mean, <clears throat> Jenny, the Doctor's daughter, for example, green T-shirt. Green T-shirt and my old military belt. That is literally mm. it, which I had. So yeah. it's like, done. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> but, um... I I wanted to do acting mm. and obviously being a parent I can't swan off to London every night and try and prove myself on stage or whatever mm. so the only way for me to do that is in the house and before I got into all this audio stuff which the audio stuff only really happened it started August last year only it's, that was it actually that soon wow it, we're only like a six month old company it's insane oh, bloody hell um but the TikTok was my getaway from being mum, <laughs> basically. And any excuse not to be Abby for 60 seconds of a TikTok yeah. video. See, my mum has that, but she turns into a witch. Yeah. <laughs> See, I turn into Jenny or Zoe. or mm. And it's fun as well, because I like to um, like imitate the scene. Yeah. So You like to get it as accurate as you can, like yeah. the inflections. And like, I'll sit and I'll... I know Grace does the same. Um, Grace the 11th does the same and I'll sit and I'll try and get it's like Polly mm. she's another one that over expresses her face all the time oh I can I, I can picture that what is it the macro terror yes like, <laughs> literally she her, like her and Georgia Tennant are so over expressive mm. and and then like the the audio companions like Charlie I've come up with her own like mannerisms like yeah, she has a, a habit one. she has a habit of standing with her hands in her back pockets and kind of like looking at the doctor longingly but well, that's got to be quite that's got to be funner than trying to get it accurate though coming up with your own neat well it's like, nice it's kind of nice to, to be able to do both because 
I, I, I don't I don't just cosplay Doctor Who people. I cosplay like I've started doing a uh, Villanella from Killing Eve, and just like watching the scenes and having to copy Jodie Comer and trying to do it yeah. myself on a tiny screen. <laughs> like, it's no, it's it's a way of not being me for a moment before I started being Jenny Flint every week. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically. There we go. It was only for a second. For say. There we go. You didn't record anything. It's all right. Okay. I, I did kept uh, kept glancing, but um, no, no yeah. it's an escape in case it makes that laugh bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's an escape bit in my house. There we go. Yes, we got that quote. That'll be on a t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> escape bit in my house. TikTok. Now, yeah. <laughs> now I'm going to put Jenny aside because I feel like at this point it would be the answer to this. But what is your favourite character to do, whether it be as TikTok or just to wear the clothes of Charlie? Yeah, Charlie's the go-to. She's fun. Well, the thing is with Charlie is she's another one. Um, I've got I've got three different cosplays for her, but like I said, there's not a visual reference. I've just got India Fisher, mm. and that's as close as I can get. But because she's been involved with Big Finish for many moons, so been Charlie goes from eight to six to her own spin-off. So it's nice to kind of have that charlie arc because i've started doing well, I it do, must have, the performance must have changed quite a lot over time that's that's the thing as well because you've got like merchford charlie which is like storm warning and she's like yes sir like, yeah, that's, the only, like that's the only that's the only charlie i know <laughs> she's like i've got like my r101 uniform and i've mm. got my like little badge and my tie me at and then i've got like charlotte pollard from um chimes of midnight it's like little skirt and all that stuff um but then when it comes to doing her own spin-off stuff she, she she ends up working for these people called the Virons, so I've basically got like a. Oh, uniform. those are weird robot ones. I yeah, see. yeah, I've, I've seen ba- the cover. <laughs> yeah, I've basically got like a vi- like a Viron uniform. It's like a blue and black uniform. She wears that, and I've got a mask, because it's like. Why not? Well, vi- Virons <laughs> Virons are these creatures that like go round and stop like infections happening. Where are you? <laughs> yeah, good point. Where the- <laughs> so I've got like this mask that's like part of my Charlotte Pollard cosplay. But no, she's fun to do, and um, she's my character I go to c- when I-, I I don't know what to do mm. because she's got s- so many things, and a lot of people aren't aware of all of her stuff. So I'm trying to like yeah, I'm trying to like tell <laughs> You're them, them yeah, <laughs> trying to tell them Charlotte Pollard's story on mm. TikTok because mm. they haven't got. Or they haven't listened to audios. Listen to audios. Listen to audios. Do it. I've listened to some. <laughs> I listened to chimes. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And eleven is here. And eleven, yeah. Eleven's oh, listened to chimes. I'm sure you. I bet you do the same. Where, like, in certain situations, the voice will just come out. Like, I'm sure Jenny sneaks out and Charlie sneaks Jenny out. And Charlie Tennant and Smith out. come out way more than they have any right to, and I hate it about myself. But I also like it because it's funny. <laughs> it's all right until like I was recalled. Well, when we were doing Dar. Oh yeah. I was trying so much to not be Jenny. Oh, because it was basically a Londoner. It was a Londoner, so <clears throat> my London voice for this character was really low because I deliberately didn't <laughs> want to be Jenny. Because <laughs> all the way through the script read, I was like, no, that's Jenny. Yeah. No, that's Jenny. I should have snuck help. in a mom in there. Mom, it didn't help that it was you and Alia. Yeah, it didn't so help. Like Smith and, and Vastra. <laughs> Eleven and Vastra were there. <laughs> it's like, if, I'm not Jenny. I should have gotten Matt in there, just, just to really <laughs> yeah, throw you off. Yeah, put Strax in there Well, Luke well. was in it, wasn't he? Yes! For God's sake. <laughs> it's no wonder I kept stepping <laughs> into Jenny. You had the but entire no, pattern lost around. Literally, literally, like... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, they do. They just just magically appear sometimes. Yeah. See, Smith comes out when I'm like being slightly awkward, and if I've trailed off somewhere, I'm like, well, it, it was, I was doing that, and then uh, uh, what was I doing? And then Tennant comes out when I'm being way too confident. G- Gemma will tell you this. Just like, if I'm feeling really good about myself, I go, well, well. smash that. <laughs> like, if I did it at the time fracture interview, it was terrible. I um, we were talking about the Queen Elizabeth segment. And he was just like, oh, did you, did you get married? And I was like, oh, yes, she loved it. And I was just like, I'm so sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> it, yeah, that was fun. Um, so my final question with this is, is there any future cosplay plans? What, what's Jack. in the pipeline? Ja- oh, yeah, me. I forgot that we, <laughs> we're coming back around to the beginning, the Jack cosplay. Here comes my cat. Oh, hello, cat. No, bye, cat. There's been a cat just licking itself around in the corner it's just, just this whole the time. Of the screen, just here. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get out featuring the cat now it's just me oh for Christ's sake uh, oh, back on the sofa 
Oh, hello. Oh, no, it's gone through the hatch. Gone through the hatch now. <laughs> um, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I want to do Liz, Liz Shaw. Mm-hmm. Um, See, that's another one of the underrated companions. Underrated. I, I really love Liz. Um, once again, she's got more audios coming out, so love a bit Liz. Uh, and like I said, Gwen, mm. Linda with a Y, and I'm just trying to find all the like obsolete characters that everybody yeah. forgets about until I cosplay them. They're like, oh my god, it's you! Yes, oh, I need to try. And you think need, about you need that to now. send me some like just <laughs> random people. <laughs> it's like I should I should cosplay Lee Mack from um, Kablam. <laughs> <laughs> that would get be my war, war rig out again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would that would be great. <gasps> Face a couple me. <laughs> <laughs> that, any excuse just to make the box, I guess. Oh my that god, the pregnant man from the Capitha to to episode. Oh no. He gives birth to a baby called Avocado. Fun fact. Fun fact. Mm-hmm. So Jenny mm-hmm. has a family called the Scarities. Yeah. And one of the members of the family is called Barty Scarity, mm-hmm. who's her younger middle brother. Right. He's voiced by the man who gives birth to avocado. <laughs> Which is a sentence I was not expecting <laughs> yeah, to hear today. The man today. who gives birth to avocado is Jenny Flint's brother, Barty. What a family tree. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, Barty, avocado. Avocado. <laughs> But it also technically features a lizard woman from the dawn of time and an avocado. Yeah. So we like the color coming green. to the Paternoster Row series. Oh, here's a different cat. Oh, it's a second cat. <laughs> oh, she, she, that cat it's was cat. like, who is this other person? This is Glinda. Glinda, what a name. As in, like, Wizard of Oz, Glinda. Fantastic. <laughs> I love cats with weird names. Dog, dogs I always picture with human person names because I've got a dog called Fred. And cats, like they can go as weird as they want because we've got a Bugsy and a Tallulah. So... Oh, my God, Tallulah. Oh, I could do Tallulah. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> that would be... It, you, good luck with fun, the voice. Fun fact as well, that's mm-hmm. um, Miranda Raisin who voices Constance Clark, the sixth Doctor Companion I cosplay. That's her? Yeah, that's the same person. Miranda Raisin. They're wow. the same people. So she plays both Mrs. Clark, the upper class Wren from 1940s, who works at Bletchley, and Tallulah. Tallulah. <laughs> who put the devil in her. <laughs> Poor Miranda. Oh, no. Wow. That is a range. Yeah. Someone needs to get her on, like, an Australian accent just so she can cover all the bases. She's, she's, she's a queen. Like, if yeah. there's anybody who, like, you need to listen to Big Finish for, it's her, because there's this character called the Eleven. Oh, I know about is, the Eleven a time lord who has like multiple personalities but all his re- regenerations aren't separated from himself so he's like schizophrenic and he talks to himself and stuff and there's an audio where she basically gets this infection Great. so it's Miranda Rayson playing Constance Clark's <laughs> but all Constance Clark's like oh good side God. childish side side like flirty side oh, it's so that's a role. good she does it so well seriously it's insane and considering all that was done during lockdown as well oh, was so it? that was all remote recorded under as well the, under the so there's, there's like Miranda like under a duvet <laughs> somewhere going talk to myself yes I am talking to myself <laughs> absolutely brilliant well check that out and, and that is yes the end of my questions so thank you for coming on the community show I've, I've just come to your house yes you came here <laughs> yeah I, I, I put in the effort god you damn it you just turned up I did I, I just I knocked on the window and said let me in Abby I've got a camera can we do an interview please yes and you're like oh do fine I have to? Yeah, I have to. god's sake <laughs> <laughs> scene